Good morning, it's New Year's Eve 2021 and we've got the final race of the year, uh, Old Lang Syne Fell Race. It's a windy one today but the sun's out and it should be a good race. Uh, you can hear the bagpiper in the background warming up so it looks like he's going to be setting us off and uh, yeah enjoy it. Got nine and a half mile to do today, so I'm gonna have to go for another run when I get home this afternoon to finish off my 2021 miles for 2021. So, I'll speak to you all soon. Stuck back here. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. Done. Uh, just over an hour, I think. Really enjoyed that. It's, uh, really muddy. A uh, little bit too windy on the way out. We saw running uphill into an headwind, but nice tailwind on downhill, so it gives itself out a little bit. Yeah, really enjoyed it. So, we've got uh, another couple of miles to do later on this evening to get to 2021 uh, but yeah so yeah tomorrow morning uh, doing water growth park run and then uh, giants to fell race so uh, take camera again and see what see if we can get some good footage see you all soon bye So that's uh, the final run of 2021 done. Uh, that should have taken me over me 2021 miles. Uh, I had 1.7 miles to do and I've done just over 3k so I'm hoping that I don't have to go out again. Uh, yeah, that were tough after this morning's fell race but yeah it's uh, Nice to show on the another progression from last year. Last year I did um, 2,400 kilometres, um, having had a target of 2,021 kilometres. Um, so yeah, so to this year to do it in miles is just a, a massive increase for me. So yeah, so next year um, with all the Ultras I've got and, and races that I've got booked in, I really don't want to, at this point, set a, a target that's going to be unachievable because I just don't know how my body's going to react, um, particularly after the wall in June. I've got such a busy um, build up to it um, that I want to be able to give my body time to recover after it um, before trying to get fit again and, and pick up the pace and, and try and get a good time at Yorkshire Marathon in October so that's my aims for next year and, and they're my two sort of A races um, like I said there's lots of other races and training runs in the build up to them but they're my two um, A girls a races, whatever you call them. Um, it's the wall in June, 70 mile ultra from Carlisle to Newcastle, and then the Yorkshire Marathon. And at the minute, I'm not setting the uh, time for the marathon. Um, I think it's just going to be a case to see how my body's holding up after the wall um, and see if I can get some speed back in my legs. I did 324 at Manchester, so I'd like to try and. I'm, I'm better that but like I say I don't want to set myself up for a fail at, at the minute when we're sort of going into the unknown so yeah I'll uh, sign off now and I'll uh, take the cameras tomorrow to Watergrove Park run um, for 9am and then we've got Giants 2 fell race at Ogden Reservoir um, later on in, in the morning so yeah so another busy day tomorrow but it's how we like it and it's a good start to the 2022 so I'll see you all then bye